Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Indeed, God is a good God, and I want to give thanks for His grace and His mercy. God is such a good God. Praise the Lord. People have been convicted. People have been going back to church because of the undiluted gospel message that I am bringing. Praise the Lord. And I'm rejoicing today because I'm getting good news. I'm getting good results. And I give God the glory. Paul said, I planted Apollos watered, but God do the increase. There's no need for divisions. Praise the Lord. I will not take the glory for myself. But indeed, I'm rejoicing because the word of God is changing life. People who were discouraged are now happy. People who were who miserable have gained back their peace, their joy. Praise the Lord because of the good news. The Bible said, How can a man cleanse his ways? By taking heed according to thy words. Praise the Lord. Backsliders have returned in back to the congregation. Praise the Lord. People are demanding that the gospel should be preached without charge and freely given to those that who are in need. Jesus said in Matthew 28 that you must go in all the world and preach the gospel for a witness. He did not say that everyone was going to save. He said to preach the gospel for a witness so that when God come to judge that there will be no excuse. Remember do the part one of what is the result of sin. Now I want to do part two about the result of sin and what does sin do to us. Sin is like cancer of the soul. It destroys us. It causes us to decay. According to Romans 6.23, the Bible said, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. God, as I bring forth your word, I pray you will go forth with clarity. God, that you will touch the mind of the hearers. That God, you will bring conviction to them. That God, they will repent and turn back to their first love. Those who, has, who have not yet saved, that they will be saved. And God, that they will seek you with their whole heart. And that may a transformation of the word will take place in their mind, body, soul, and spirit. I just want to talk about sin. Praise the Lord. This is Blessing and Peace Ministries with Ricardo. Praise the Lord. And I just want to big up all those who are bringing forth the word of good news, the word of Jesus Christ to the nation, to the world. Praise the Lord. I might cannot reach everyone physically, but by social media I can reach the world. And I thank God for this medium that he has allowed me and give me the opportunity to bring forth the gospel. Praise the Lord. What is sin? Sin is a disease. It is not a thing to be thought so lightly about. Many religious declare that God will not punish anyone that sins, but will punish the devil and his angel that cause sin in the heart and life of a man. Praise the Lord. That is not true. God will not only punish the devil and his angels. God will also punish those who are uncommitted, those who are unfaithful, those who are disobedient, like Adam and Eve, that first sin. We can see the removal from the Garden of Eden. And we can see the punishment that has bestowed upon them. 
the authority and the dominion that God gave them freely was taken from them because they have died a spiritual death. God says in Ezekiel 20, in Ezekiel 18 and verse 20, that the soul that sinneth it shall die. According to Psalms 9.17, you can go and read it for yourselves. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. If we think God will not punish sinners, we are either blind or ignorant to the fact. Praise the Lord. God will, will punish you if you committed sin. It's all over in the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. What are the results of sin? Part 2. I've done part 1 already and I'm still continuing on this notable word. A priceless gift from the eternal God himself. We have in our churches today so-called preachers who never said anything about sin or hell. They just pre preach to please their ears. If they were to preach on the pet sins of the members, they would be quickly removed because them are afraid upon the big offering we are true. Them are depend upon olive oil, fissel and water and prayer cloth. So certain things them they want to tell you no. Because them are going to say, I can't bother with him, I'm sure what for me. Amen. But God have mercy on anyone who will not preach the truth of the gospel, but the fearful, those kind of preachers shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, according to Revelation 21 and verse 8. The gospel must be preached, it must not be compromised. Call sin, sin. Don't see blue color and see a purple. Don't see purple and see a red. Tell them their true colors. In Ezekiel, he said, Who will go to Ahola and Aholiba and tell them about their sinful practices? Tell them about their abominations. Tell them about their unfaithfulness. I purpose to point out the reader what sin does to the human race. First, it deceives the human race or to make it clearer. It deceives the individual. The young and old alike are being deceived by the beautiful pictures sin is painting before their eyes. It's like a nice painting, a nice crafty painting. But you don't know if someone steal that painting and sell you and you have bought it. You have not get any receipt. And sometimes if you get receipt, it can be illegally done. It can be forged. Is it a original receipt or it is a duplicate or a imitation? View the picture that Satan painted Eve. He told her if she would eat of the forbidden tree, she would become as gods, but didn't tell her of the sorrow and tears that were to be reaped in the latter days, according to Romans 6.23 that I have earlier mentioned, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Did Satan tell them about the sorrow, the disappointment, the turmoil, the anguish that they are going to face on the earth if they disobey God according to the command that God has given them? He didn't tell them about that. Praise the Lord. The second thing sin does, it injures the mind. It per per perpetuates the mind. It destroys your thoughts. Praise the Lord. God gave us a mind that we, that we would have the power of choice. Sin destroys the mental faculty. To prove this to you, just visit the insane asylums throughout the country. And look in the faces of men and women, boys and girls who were once intelligent. If you would inquire into their lives, you would find out nearly all are their account of sin. 
If you look at some healthy people that were once strong, that were once mighty, and when I mean mighty, I mean good health. What did you think destroyed them? Sin. It is a cancer of the soul. Sin will kill you. It will destroy you. It destroys your mental faculty. Sin will stress you. It brings depression. It will cause you to hate. It will cause you to be envious. Sin will cause you to bad mind. Praise the Lord. Sin will cause you to eat your brother without a cause. If you even come on your veranda with a cup of coffee, your neighbor said then show off you, then go on it, go on it too much. It's nothing good you are doing. You are just feeding your body. But because of sin, perpetuate the mind, your mental faculty. Sin will make you look on people and say, Lord, he ugly, so I don't like her. She ugly. She too fat. I don't love how she look. You are it discrediting God creation. When you tell and look at people like that, it is not of God. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things bright and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Nobody no ugly or one thing ugly and a sin. Even a dinosaur beautiful, a sin making ugly. Somebody praise the Lord. The third thing, thing sin does, it consumes physical strength. Sin is the cause of nearly all diseases and sickness. It may not always mean sin on the part of the sufferer. But somehow back in some of their ancestors' life was sin, some terrible sin, some wicked iniquity, some murder, some witchcraft, some despite, some adultery, some fornicators and it run down your lineage it take the blood of Jesus to remove that curse praise the Lord this is what sin does praise the Lord sin will kill you just notice how robust and strong someone will be and let them get entangled in the depths of sin and see what it does to them look how cancer destroy people it is a fungus it is a destroyer. Sin will blind you. Praise the Lord. Just watch them as they live right lives and revelt, revert in sin. In a few years, the color had gone from their faces. Do you know that sin disfigures you? It causes you to ugly. It's only with this beautiful salvation. God said he beautified the meek with salvation. Sin no beautify you, sin make you ugly, sin destroy you. Praise the Lord. Sin give you a hope of this satisfaction. That's why people wear black bleach. And people wear white or bleach, we get black. They're not satisfied with the color we God give them. What you think is causing that? Sin. Praise the Lord. Sin will destroy all hope of heaven. Praise the Lord. It's Blessing and Peace Ministries with Ricardo. Please like, share, and comment. There is a lot of things in store here on this channel. The things that are in store is the Word of God. Praise the Lord. And this channel is not about prosperity gospel. It's to tell people you must repent and turn to holiness. The Bible said without holiness or peace, without such, no man shall see God. I am not charging anyone to preach the gospel. Paul said, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel, but if I do this willingly, a reward is laid up in store for me. I will not charge anyone. According to 1 Corinthians 9.16, that's the next topic I want to minister about people charging to preach the gospel yes it is obligated for the church of corinthians to give him a salary but paul didn't take it because he's a slave master to the preaching so he has done it freely praise the lord is not like he went for a job interview we make the gospel look like a one job interview 
And the boss is going to tell me how much we are get a week time. It is not so. Freely shall you give. Freely receive. Freely shall you give. God said he love it. A cheerful giver. Thanks for listening. God bless you. In Jesus name. God go with you and may he cause his face to shine upon, upon you. It's Blessing and Peace Ministries with Ricardo. Please like, share and comment. When you do that, you're helping me to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible said the fashion of the world is passing away. Time is running out. He said redeeming the time for the days are evil. In 1 Timothy, he said for evil men shall walk worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. Praise the Lord. Some people you see I do some things. They say yeah man them are going to change. Praise the Lord. Yes some will change. But some will get worse and worse. Uh, even worse to death. It's not worse to life. Because there's no soul can change. Unless you turn to Paul. All soul will die. But once he's a Peter or a John or a Matthew. You shall live. You shall gain eternity. God bless you. God go with you. I will do part three of what are the result of sin. Thank you for listening to Blessing and Peace Ministries with Ricardo. This channel is free of no cost. I am selling nothing. Freely I receive. Freely I am giving back to you. It's my duty to preach the gospel to you. I love you. Big up all those who are bringing forth the word of hope. To the hearers and the listeners, be blessed today. God provide for those who don't have. Protect your people, our ministers, who are bringing forth your word. Our governments, God, go before them. I pray for the salvation of Jamaica land we love. In Jesus' name, amen.